Hi everyone, I am Ambisa Roja and welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. Today, we are going to create a telegram bot using Python and ChatGPT. And before proceeding, I have an insight for you guys. But I want to tell you like how we will create telegram bot using ChatGPT. So we'll just give the commands to the ChatGPT and he will guide us or he will provide the code and we'll just copy paste it and that is called scripting. This is the new in-demand job or what we say in demand skill like how you can just ask an AI to get your things done. So that's the new job in demand these days. And the insight I was telling you about is if you are aiming to get certified as an AI and ML engineer and want to build a career in AI, in that case you can check the professional certificate program in AI and machine learning that is in collaboration with IBM and Purdue University by Simply Learn. That will open the doors for the best career opportunities and to find the details of this professional certificate program that is in machine learning and AI, you can check the link in the description box below and maybe we'll pin the comment in the pinned comment. So just check it out guys. And now I have a quiz question for you guys. And your question is, dash is a string literal denoted by triple quotes for providing the specifications of certain program elements. And your options are, interface modularity client or doc string so please answer in the comment section below and we'll update the correct answer in the pinned comment you can pause the video give it a thought and answer in the comment section and moving on we'll start with our project and for that first we'll create a folder in python projects and name it as telegram port using chat jeopardy okay and inside this we'll open the command prompt and open our id that is i would be using the video studio code and you can use any id that you have hands on and now we will go back to our chat gpt and we'll start here but before that uh, let's talk about telegram board so a telegram board is a program that interacts with users via the telegram messaging app uh, the prerequisite is you should have a telegram account and boards can be used for a wide range of purposes such as customer support news delivery and even games and chat gpt so ChatGPT is a large language model trained by OpenAI that is based on GPT 3.5 architecture and ChatGPT is capable of generating human-like response to text-based inputs making it a great tool for building chatbots. And now if we talk about prerequisites, you should have a Telegram account, Python installed on your system and we need a Python Telegram bot library that I will show you what to install and that chat gpt will tell us like what to install so we'll just ask chat gpt to create telegram bot using python okay so it says error we'll just refresh the page and ask again create telegram bot using python okay i will see what he states so create a telegram board you need a telegram board talking to the board father yeah we have to go to the board father i will show you guys how to do that <laughs> install the required libraries next one you need to install okay and write this code Okay, so in this script, they have started with the start function. So it will just say as hello when it would be started. Okay, so we'll add some more functionalities and 
we will ask uh, where to find the your api token here so i know like we have to go to the board father but we will ask chat gpt also where can we find the your api token so it states that to get to telegram bot api token you need to create a new bot by talking to the bot father on telegram open telegram and search for bot father okay and send the bot father message that is slash new bot and the bot father will ask you for the name of the bot and it will ask you about the username and the fifth is the bot father will then generate a token for your bot this token is a string of characters that uniquely identifies your bot on telegram so keep this token secure and i will also blur it so you guys won't be able to see it okay so moving to a telegram we'll just search board father here and you can see this is the board father and we'll just click on start and they asked the chat gpt asked us to write slash new board we'll just click on this and we'll get so we'll write a new board how are we going to call it please choose a name for the board so we'll write simply learn underscore new board okay good let's choose a username so simply learn one one underscore port and it states that that your username should end in bot so we have rendered with bot and you could see the token here and here you can just access your bot so we'll get back to our id and create a new file and i will name it as new.py only or you can name it as board.py or anything you want we'll get back to our uh, chat gpt but before that first we need to install the library for that you can go to the command prompt or you could use the terminal of your id that is uh, in visual studio code you could you could use the terminal to install the libraries you could see that the requirement is already satisfied as this library is already installed on the system so moving back library is installed and now we'll copy this code and paste it here and we'll just change the token we'll go back to board father we'll copy this token come back and paste it here okay now we will run this and see whether our bot is working or not so it has successfully executed we will get back to our bot father and just click on simply learn one one bot so we we'll click on start and see it says hello i am your bot so it's working fine so if we write hello it won't respond as there are no functionalities so we will ask chat gpt to add functionalities please add some more functionalities and response to the port let's see so sure here's an example of how you can add some more functionality so the used port of data dispatcher okay define the help command handler ok 
ओके सो चैट जी पी टी हैज़ डिफाइंड थ्री फंक्शंस दैट इज ईको एंड वट डज ईको डू इट विल जस्ट गिव यू द सेम थिंग वट यू गिव टू द बोर्ड और वट यू राइट टू द बोर्ड कैप्स दैट ही हैज़ ऑल्सो डिक्लेयर अ हेल्प फंक्शन एंड इन विच यू कैन सी लाइक वट फंक्शनैलिटीज डज द बोर्ड हैव एंड द कैप्स विल डू इट विल कन्वर्ट द मैसेज टू ऑल कैप्स ईको Uh, echo the message back to you. It will give you the same message. Slash start. It will start the bot and slash help to get help. And now unknown. Uh, if there is something you ask out of these things, it will just say sorry. Okay. I will let you guys understand this code also. But first, we'll see. whether it's working or not so for that we have pasted it here now we'll paste our api token again so we pasted it here now uh first we will close this terminal and get a new terminal and then run the program i will get back to the port father and this is our port so we'll just write slash start and it says hello i am your port now we'll say Hi to the bot. So, okay, it's not responding. Okay, we we'll just close the terminal, and we have pasted the keys also. Okay, we'll run it again. Now we will see whether it's working or not. Start. Hi. So the code is not working. Okay, we'll just see the code again. Okay. Uh, here we don't have any response to I or hello. So what we'll do? we'll use the help and to call the help what we have slash help so these are the commands for what it will respond so we'll use slash help okay now you can see that slash start to start the bot that we have done help and echo echo the message back to you so we'll write hi Don't write back. So we'll write slash echo hi. Then he has given us the output that is hi. So we can write slash echo. How are you? So it has given you back. And same, we have slash caps. So we'll write slash caps, and we'll write something in small caps. That would be. greatly build okay now you can see it has returned in caps so you can add some more functionality to it and before that i will get you guys understood the code so now we'll see what does this code do so first we have imported the necessary modules that is 
the classes from the python telegram board library that will need to create our board <clears throat> so telegram contains the main board class while updater command handler message handler and filters are classes that we use to handle incoming updates and messages from telegram okay <clears throat> now these are like uh, we have created an instance of the board class that is using our telegram board api token as well as an updater instance that will continuously fetch new updates from telegram and pass them to the appropriate handlers and we have used context equal to true that tells the updater to use the new context based api introduced in version 12 of the python telegram board library and we also used a dispatcher object that will handle incoming updates after that we have created a start function and passed update and context so we have defined a function that will handle the start command and the update parameter contains information about the incoming update from telegram while the context parameter contains some useful methods and objects that we can use to interact with the telegram api in this case we have used uh, context dot port dot send dot uh, send underscore message to send a message to the chat with the id specified by update dot effective underscore chat dot id and after that we have created a help function so we use a multi-line string to define the help message which contains a list of available commands and then we have used the context dot board dot send underscore message to send the help message to the chat and after that we have the echo function so we use context dot arguments to get the message sent by the user after the slash echo command so to use this we have to use the slash echo and after that we have to write the message and then use join to join the message back together to a single string we then uh, we have used the context dot board dot send underscore message to send the message back to the chat then we have caps so this function defines that will handle the caps command and we have again used the context dot arguments to get the message sent by the user after the slash caps command and then the we have used the upper function to convert the message to all caps and then we have used the context dot board dot send underscore message to send the message back to the chat then we have unknown function that is th this function defines that will handle any command that the board doesn't recognize so we have used context dot board dot send so it will just say sorry okay so these are the start handler help handler echo handler and caps handler so these are the commands and we have the we have added the add handler and to start the board we have used update dot start underscore polling so this is how we have created the board with the help of python and chat so we are done with the project you can add more functionalities also to the board you can just ask chat jpt to get more functionalities to play music in the telegram board or you could just ask him how to send messages to a particular user by the board only and you could also send media files ask the media files from the board and you can train a fully board by the help of chat gpt and this is called chat gpt scripting so with the help of chat gpt you can just ask him and he will guide you with all the code and processes you just have to like make them in a sequence and use them to full of your use so with that we have come to the end of this session and i hope that was interesting and informative if you liked it please let us know in the comment section below and also if you have any query please pin down in the comment section and our experts would be happy to help you out and till then stay safe and keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here